I know guys play this for dog days. Yeah. I think it's I think it's okay for us. You know, it, it, it gives us an opportunity. I think at this point, where we played so many games early, that um, I think there might be some tweaks and changes we want to have going down the stretch here systematically. And and uh, so I think from a coaching perspective, it's not going to be you know we're gonna we're gonna challenge them a little bit uh, to, to grow our game. Uh, and I think if we go down the stretch, you know, we play a lot of teams quite a bit, and, and uh, I think we'll, we'll make some tweaks that we feel will make us a tougher team to play against down the stretch. That's interesting. So at the end of the stretch where you're not playing a lot of games, when you start getting back into those three threes in March, that's when you want to be hit the ground running, ready to go for the... Correct. I think you want to be, yeah. And, 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 you know, it gives us a chance now when, when you have this practice time that I think we're well-rested. We're coming off the all-star break. Um, you, know, you know, guys are fresh. So I think right now, you know, the challenging part for us as coaches is we want to be able to keep it fresh. And I think one way to do that is to really uh, try, try to grow our game, whether that's uh, adjusting some systems, having multiple four checks and things like that. that yeah. I think down the road will give us the ability to adjust and adapt, m maybe uh, depending on teams we play, but it also make, will make us a couple teams to play. Back to the lab. Back to the lab, yeah. yeah. It's a exciting time of year. Yeah. I just have a quick question about Scott Wilson and the young players. What do you think is the key that young players like Connor Sheary, Wilson, Russ, that they've been able to step in and play such big roles this season? Well, they've been, uh, you know, they, the one that their compete level has been high, which is important when you're an offensive player to be able to to be able to play in the hard areas of the ice, get to the middle of the ice. Those guys have the willingness to do it and the ability to do it. So it's their compete level in skating that's helped them. Yeah, and Wilson specifically, he's been picking up a lot of points and goals the last few games. What has he done since coming off a little bit of injury, his quick call from Pittsburgh? Yeah. What do you I like what you've been seeing in him? Well, he's, he's, he's been real hard on the puck, which which this time of year is important for offensive players. And I think when you look at the way he's been able to score goals, he's been in between the dots, he's got to the middle of the ice, and uh, he's got a very good release on his shot. So when you get a player like that in scoring areas, uh, well, more often than not, they're going to be able to at least get a quality chance, if not a goal. Finally, what do you think the veterans' roles have been in helping these young players play so well? well they lead by example. They you know, help set a real good culture in our room. I think they lead by example in how they prepare themselves for games, how they practice, uh, you know, their attentiveness in meetings. and you know, That's why you want to have quality veterans because it's, it's really how they lead by example and the culture they set in the room and away from the rink within the team that helps promote development and, and a real positive atmosphere.